Thanks for joining us for the news at 10. The May 17th primary election is less than three weeks away. It is sneaking up on us. Yes. We hosted two debates to help voters make informed decisions ahead of the election. Not really sneaking up, though. It's been with us for a while. But tonight was the last of those two debates with three GOP candidates for Secretary of State going head to head. Tristan Lewis is here to help recap some of the topics and the standout moments from tonight. Tristan. Those candidates weren't afraid to call each other out. Yeah, Brian and Morgan, almost every answer a candidate gave, the others followed up with some form of rebuttal. Tonight brought conversation about everything from Facebook, its data centers, and the company's role in the 2020 election to election security and integrity in the state. The topic of the 2020 election was a center point throughout Thursday's Secretary of State Republican primary debate. The three candidates going head to head with one another on these issues they believe matter to most Idahoans and where they see their opponents lacking. I'm running for Idaho Secretary of State to protect your votes, to protect our elections, to protect our businesses and to protect our endowment. As the chief election officer, uh, I definitely want to make sure that we maintain uniformity and consistency in our elections. One of the main reasons I'm running for Secretary of State is so that we can continue to maintain and protect the values that we have in our state. The topic of Facebook dominated nearly the first quarter of the debate. First up was Idaho Senator Mary Souza and Idaho Representative Dorothy Moon discussing whether or not the legislature had a role in bringing the Meta Data Center to CUNA. When we voted in, in favor of the data center, it was a generic tax exemption bill. It had nothing to do with Facebook and no one knew about it. The fact of the matter is we're giving multi-billionaires a huge tax incentive to come into this state when we can't even give the citizens of Idaho a, a, a grocery sales tax exemption. Then it was Ada County Clerk Phil McGrain defending his office accepting grant money in 2020 from a nonprofit. The group previously accepted donations from corporations like Facebook. This wasn't money tied to Facebook. There was a nonprofit called the Center for Tech and Civic Life that provided grants for elections offices throughout the country. 49 states received the money and 20 counties in the state of Idaho received that money. Election integrity was also a theme throughout the one hour debate with Sousa and Moon pushing for more laws and tighter requirements. We just have to make sure that we have an ID. We make sure we don't have affidavits where you can just sign a piece of paper saying who you are uh, when you may not be a registered voter in that area. But what we need to keep our eye on is how secure are our systems, but how safe is your vote? And there has to be the balance between those. Well, McGrain says if elected, you would continue to grow trainings in current systems. When I started, cybersecurity wasn't even something we discussed. Now it's a major component. And one of the things the se Secretary of State oversees the most is maintaining our statewide voter registration system and keeping it secure. And another topic the candidates talked about towards the end was the Secretary of State's role on the Idaho Land Board. The conversation got pretty heated between Sousa and Moon, and Sousa called out Moon for voting against bills she believes would be beneficial for natural resources. Right, Tristan, in Sousa's response, she noted Moon didn't vote to increase low pay for wildland firefighters in Idaho, which was a big topic of conversation this last legislative session. She said Moon, quote, wants to just let the forest burn. Hmm. That was her exact quote. Moon was, of course, quick to defend herself, calling Sousa's argument disingenuous as Sousa kept sort of trying to interrupt her. Moon said she voted against those bills because the money came from the wrong bucket. So her setting the record straight on that one. And it's interesting. A lot of people think that the Secretary of State's only into the election thing, but no, oh. there's a wide range of things that office takes oh, care yeah. of. Oh yeah, business uh, division, any sort of recording. It, it's, it's a big office. It's an important office. So Tristan, thank you for recapping that for us.